Well, there we go, folks. Maybe we'll check out some of this concept art. All right, folks, we're back here. Um, what I'm going to do here for this next section, just because we want to be able to see everything that's going on here. Uh, I'm the cam link, so I'm going to... I'm just going to disappear here for a little bit here. Let's go through some of this concept art and take a look at some of the enjoyable stuff about, ne about Double Dragon Neon here. So there's Billy and Jimmy. I They look a little heavy centered to ask me. The hips are a little wide, but... You know what? Penciled in, it looks pretty damn good if you ask me. The armored pose here right now. Ooh, love the red. I've always been a bigger fan of blue than red, but red still pops once in a while. Ah, Marion. I still think she would have looked good in that chainmail all, all the way around, but I digress. Nice concept art there. I'm sure that'll get me banned eventually. Then this guy. Wow. The kind of detail they put on this enemy here. To me, this was just absolutely fantabulous. Yes, they used a funny word there. Um, with the skulls, the hat. Pretty much everything lining up just perfectly here. Really well done, if you ask me. And these are more of the color drawings. I didn't even notice the skulls on the shoulder blades. Like, you notice the spikes, but not the skulls. And then, of course, the uh, the nice man who sold you your power-ups. And they were going to make him into a doc. That doctor in the middle looks a lot like Hugo Strange from the uh, WB... Well... The Warner Bros. Batman Arkham Asylum series, if you ask me. And the one on the right just looks a little too dictatorish for me. And there's a few of the enemies that they had thought out. A couple hammermen, one of the... Oh, that's the guy that upgrades your tapes. That's the blacksmith there. Very good look. If these are going to be the, the three guys who are supposed to do it, the first guy looks like he was out of a rock and roll band, so that sort of makes sense. And the third guy, just, I don't know if it would fit the motif probably here. I think it'd be more of a fable type guy. And that's the final art of him. That Very well, very well scripted there. Now we're starting to get into some of the artists, some of the enemies. Nice claymation work there. I'm very amazed at the uh, definition that they put on all these characters here. Then, of course, you got your hip-hop dude with the chains and the uh, comb and the hair, as stereotypical as they can get. Then, ah. Uh, you know, you're, every good game deserves a good dominatrix, right? Naughty, naughty! Whack! They made three different designs of her. Non-discriminatory, by the way. But I do... I am partial to the redhead there, personally. But And look at that. Look at the definition of that. Don't want to stare too long at this, but... Looks really, really good. By all angles. Yeah, I'm just going to sound like a perv if I continue, so... Then, there, there, then there's a Bobo. When I used to play play Double Dragon for the Game Boy, this guy was the freaking bane of my existence. If you didn't if you didn't find a way to throw him off a, a lever or a wall or something, it just, yeah, you just couldn't win. 
You can see the high definition there. Look at these backgrounds, guys. Like, Jesus. Absolutely beautiful. And there's the record store, whether it was open or closed. The neon lights, like, they lived up to their name of neon really well here. Then the main shrine. Just the subject of detail, it just looks like a villain's lair. Very psychedelic. Probably the way I'd like to have my uh, apartment set up here for this. And there's your two logos you're looking at. Love the definition on them. Now we got a little bit of gameplay here. Very Star Wars esque, I'd say those uh, airlocks here, but and it almost looks as if the way they set them up, it looks little three D if you look look straight up through them. Then these ones. These girls that keep throwing the fans at you, my God, were the... I'll, I'll have to say, out of all the characters in this game, these were probably the hardest for me to deal with. So they went from raw drawings like this into more detail like this. The look at the coloring on those dresses, like it's absolutely fantastic. Then, of course, you got these robots. Half of them had TNT, and I didn't even notice. Then these buggers, like... I didn't know if I was supposed to attack them or not, but... Looks like the guys are trying to attack them, but I'm sure as hell getting out of the way. And there's your final product. Man, they look scary. Oh, and that's the uh, Mega Man ripoff boss that we had to take on on the motorcycle. But they did actually show a hand in this rendering here. But Then we move on to the uh, feudal stage. Look at that. Like, that is a desktop picture if i ever seen one here. Somebody should put that up for a painting. If anybody's got a cell shade of that available, whether it be on Amazon or whatever, let me know. Give me a link. I'd love to have that as part of a picture in my, uh, just in the background here. Then the ninjas. The, the concept or the way the four ninjas were going to be. I'm glad they went with the black. It's a little more traditional, I think. And these red ones here, like, this has got the old Mai Shiranui physics here. How they don't pop out, I don't know. Then we move on to these helicopters. Who would have ever thought that helicopter on top would actually fly? With a head like that. And you got your tank. Your little tank set on top of the big tanks. Or your main tank, as you would call it. Looks so cool, like, the one thing I didn't realize as I was going, you have to take out the one at the bottom back before you can work on the ones up front here. Just the way the scaling went up as you were walking. Then you got into the genetics lab. And just so detailed, like, even look at those trees inside the scanner there on the bottom then you had your uh, firefly ripoffs here the girls in the flying suits I like honestly this is okay but well, I'm glad they took the ones from the middle as part of their design here for the in this game Hey, you got these big buggers. 
And then this guy. Like, seriously. Who would have thought that... That you'd have a, a boss with shark... A shark in one hand and a dragon in the other. Like, wow. Such detail and beauty. Look at... Look at the teeth there on uh, old Sharky there. The dragon looks a little more dragon or dinosaur. Looks a little more traditional. Ew. Nice starting art on the uh, on the face there. But there you go. There's the. There's the neck, the base, everything. What this boss is supposed to look like. That, that looks like the computer setup. And then riding down. This had to be a hard level to, to animate here. Because you're just sitting on that one small platform the whole time. And everybody's coming down on you. Wow. So to set something like that up. To set any level up, as a graphic designer, or a, like even when you're sweating up your Twitch stream, if you're watching this, when you're setting up, you have to set up each one of these layers as a separate item in a scene. It is so difficult to set up at times, but it just takes patience, time, and somebody put a lot of effort into this game. Not what you just saw turned into this. Now you got these uh, skeletons. Feudal skeletons. On the zombie warriors. And your ground warriors from the zombie area. As we move into the... Uh, into the palace once again. Like look at the look at the diverse colors in here for the palace. It's just like I say, a work of art. How beautiful this is. And you got your samurai, the guys that were dancing around all over the screen. And they turned into that. Just amazing. There's your four-way design of them. But once again, you got your punks here. See, Marion was sort of in that outfit to the left. You would think that the, the villain in this game would, you know, maybe pick up on one of these girls instead. Might be a little easier, but oh well. And this looks like it is the final uh, outfit for Marion. And yeah, my god. My God. Now we're into that lab once again. A little bit of a horror world. And here's the here's the final level in that special uh, special zone here. And this is how they were gonna morph Skullamaniac in. Just make him that much bigger, that much spikier. And a little bit of that blue, hue, blue silver hue, a little bit of color will take you a long way here. There's the double dragon logo, looking crisp and sharp in color. The 2D versus 3D tests. You can tell the difference where on the right everything pops just a little bit more. Oh, sorry, it's a top versus bottom here. Okay. Yeah, it looked like they had to fill... Oh, and these were uh, different... Uh... Different concepts for your power-ups. Okay. 
So there's duck, slide, shoulder blast, knee, and double grab. I didn't get a chance to double grab, unfortunately. And that's how they wanted to, why did you be able to revive? Use a revival? You would be, you'd activate the tape and then you'd have to stick the pencil in there and rotate your right stick to uh, get it working. It's a decent concept. So there's a rough picture of the map that we're dealing with here. Worked. I found it worked out really beautifully. And they got the right color scheme for each level, so. And there's your final picture of the map if you blow it out. The continue screen. I, I love how they set up that scene and your brother just comes out of nowhere to save you. And here's the base of what that looked like. We got to see that way too many times, my friend. And then there's that thing. Ugh, okay. Dev build 2011. Okay, so this is what the developers were working with. Not the finished product, but still looks pretty sharp. Now, once again, they're show you a few screenshots of the developers build here. Nice shot there. This looks like it might have been the original uh, start screen for this game. I'm glad they went away went away from it because that logo just yeah it doesn't it doesn't pop the way the new one does. Wow, that that face is a face only a mother could love. Then carrying the barrels through the stop sign. Again, using the dead skulls. Little screen when you pick up your super moves. Like, it looks really cool as they're setting everything up, just trying to get everything finished up here. And they got these little gremlins here. Don't know where they're supposed to be from. Oh, they turned it... They're, they're robots that they didn't use. Wow. Crab and a monk. So Daisy and Dookie, what? white tights, oh, they're just trying to show what the alternates were going to be like. Similar coat style, white tights, same stature, oh that would be Lily, okay. Now that we got here, hey bro, press this on the level map. LTLB left button, RTRB right button, both forward and back. I think that might be uh, a little, little thing we might well try some other time here. But yeah, we're. Just got through the concept art here of uh, Double Dragon Neon. Absolutely phenomenal game here. Let me break myself back up here.